everybody, this is Leo. Um, wanted to make a recording of me playing Final Fantasy XIV, not just to, uh, to get other people interested in it, but I've got this crappy mic that uh, I got from B&H Audio, and uh, I don't like it, it's not working. I ordered another, a different mic today. It gets here in a couple days, I'm gonna be able to see. Uh, if it's any better or if it's just my voice maybe I've just maybe my voice is just messed up anyway Final Fantasy uh, 14 Realm Reborn it's an MMORPG MMORPG stands for massively multiplayer online role-playing game this is if you've ever played uh, World of Warcraft it's similar to that I think it's a better game it's a better balanced game uh, if you've ever if you've never played that then it's like D and D on the computer, Dungeons and Dragons on the computer, kind of, sorta, <clears throat> different rule set. Anyway, here's my character. His name's Gangle Ma Mag Magus. Uh, the word Magus is derived from the Greek, so it should be Magus, I think. But anyway, Gangle Magus. He is a mage. He's that's his uh, mining outfit in this game. He, in addition to be a being a mage, he is a miner. And a goldsmith. Well, and goldsmith is a little bit misleading misnomer uh, name um, because he works with uh, gems and metals, not just uh, uh, gold. Well, here we are. We're in the city of Ulda. Uh, it's a desert city, and we're standing on the uh, on uh, Sapphire Avenue. Now. This is the market board. This is where you can go in and look for stuff that you want to buy. Um, you know, like uh, gear, tools, food, all that different stuff. Uh, you've got your different NPC merchants down through here. This is for players. Market board is players who are uh, um, playing the game and buying and selling, making stuff. Um, so this guy here is probably the summoning bell. You can hire, you don't have a bank in this game, but you can hire retainers who have really big inventories. You can get two by default once you've purchased the base game on the free trial, which you get up to level 35 on the free trial. You don't get to hire retainers. Uh, but uh, uh, I've got two retainers. That means I've got a lot of stuff up for sale. Uh, anyway, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, Sapphire Avenue, like I said. This is where the... Uh, buying and selling goes on uh, and here's some this is a couple more market boards here in the middle of the street in the center of the street uh, these people with blue names are other players uh, the people with green names are non-player characters that means they're uh, they're just game controlled uh, characters that you can interact with distraught last She's got a quest, but I can't get it yet because I only own the base game. I haven't bought any of the expansions. There's, I've got so much to do uh, in just the base game that I want to do. Uh, I'm not going to burden myself with uh, with the uh, other stuff just yet. Um, let's go to... Where should we go to? Let's head out into the desert and see what's going on. We'll reach over here. We have a sprint uh, icon or sprint talent that we can use as you can see it's uh, it's got zones it's not a uh, just one open world so you go from one zone to the other now this is another part of the city and this is Minmi Gun he is the chocobo keeper chocobo if you're familiar with any of the Final Fantasy uh, franchise those are see the big chicken thing there uh, you ride those and you can fight them and you can race them and there's different stuff you can do with them but mainly they're for riding so we speak to the chocobo porter by right clicking hit chocobo porter and it's going to give me a dialogue just click anywhere on the screen get rid of that and hire chocobo porter we're going to go to black brush station it's not too far away and then give you a good little video of what things look like and am i sure yes it cost me 15 gil gil is the in-game currency that's what you get whenever you finish quests and stuff like that now we hit uh, uh, scroll lock that gets rid of the HUD and you can see the game is pretty it's a good looking game I I really like the art design of it um, I like the way the mountains look anyway this is a desert 
and you can see we have the standard there's some spider well these are ants I think they're antlings is what they're called there's some more over there now these are non aggro because you're still close to town there's not much stuff that's aggro to you that's aggro means aggressive uh, and we call them mobs because based on the old EverQuest days, the original EverQuest, they were, uh, the developers referred to them as mobile objects and that got uh, shortened to mob. So anyway, here we are. We're at, uh, we're at Blackbrush Station now. We're going to automatically dismount from our chocobo and there's the guy if we want to go uh, ride back and uh, head down through here just a little ways so you can kind of see turn the HUD back on and there's a now I'm in my minor year here so I'm not going to be fighting these uh, and these are only level 5 I've got my my main character black mage let's switch over to that soon see what it looks like it's pretty cool so anyway this is my um, mining outfit we go over here hit C for character go right here to the gear set list hit my black mage gear set equip it hit C again to turn that off and there's what my gear looks like let's turn to the light so we can see ourselves a little better here I guess that's about as good as the lights gonna get with this hat on and you can see I've got masks you know anyway, we're gonna do this we're gonna turn off his head display his headgear display and there's what he looks like without his hat on. Scroll all the way in and you get a uh, first person view. And let's change to the other one. My other gear set, which is my gold smith. I tried out Weaver, didn't really like it. That's why it's so low. But my gold smith is also level 60, or 50, sorry. 50 is as high as you can go with the base game. And uh, got on some pretty good gear but I don't think I got on oh yeah he doesn't have very good you know no he doesn't have very good gear he's got a couple pieces that are okay we're gonna switch back to our black mage set equip it hit C to turn everything off now see the gear set saves whether you've got the head turned on or not so now uh, fast travel we can get on the chocobo and ride back we can also go down here to our travel icon right here hit travel and we can teleport to any of the places that I went to and uh, attuned this aetherite uh, uh, shard here or which is these are all the places I've been where that have aetherite shards aetherite is how they pronounce it in the game or you also get a uh, return to home uh, ability. So you hit that, it takes a few seconds for it to activate, and it takes you to the Etherite Plaza in whatever city, or it takes you to whatever Etherite shard you've uh, you've selected. I've selected uh, Ulda, which is my home city, and that's where uh, that's where I go. And uh, anyway, it's a really good game. I think people would like it if they played it. It's got the, uh, it forces you into dungeons to continue along your story quest. So if you're not familiar with dungeons and you're not willing to watch YouTube videos and see how the dungeons go, you're going to be confused, you're going to be frustrated, people are going to be making fun of you, calling you new, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Well, anyway, this is my first video about Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.